Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Dredging. A nightmare for Gloucester docks, for the dock basin regularly fills up with silt. It always has done, just one of those things of nature. To take it away, several methods have been tried and not all of them have worked. But during this past number of months, a new company has come on board and I must say I believe they've done a remarkable job. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy. Gloucester Docks has continually suffered from mud filling the dock basin. In recent years, many different ways of removing the mud has been used. Built in Holland in 1925, the steam-driven bucket dredger was in use at the docks, now a floating exhibit at the National Waterways Museum, Gloucester. SND No. 4 was replaced in 1981 by a new diesel-electric bucket dredger named Thomas Fletcher, named after the resident engineer who supervised the final phase of the construction of the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal in the 1820s. Thomas Fletcher would load 150 tonnes of mud into hopper barges in just 30 minutes. barges were towed to Purton, some 15 miles down the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal, where moored to the canal bank, alongside the River Severn, was a floating pumping station. Two large pipes were lowered into the mud, one pumping water in, the other sucking the diluted mud out. This slurry of mud was simply put back into the River Severn. Thomas Flesher ceased working in the year 2000 due to an EU directive banning such operations. For a short period, no dredging took place. Consequently, mud built up in the dock basin. Several different ways were tried to get rid of this mud. Cutter suction, plough, or simply digging it out to put the mud onto a field alongside the canal. None of these methods worked that well. Early 2023 saw much media attention locally, with the community holding a public meeting to air their worries. Moving on to the end of 2023, and a new company secured a contract to dredge at Gloucester Docks. S.E. Davis & Son Limited, a Worcestershire company based near to Redditch, who has a wealth of experience with a fleet of the latest equipment. They had designed their own cutter suction machine for use in the docks. It's took some going in because it's not been moved for years. That depth. This has been running at four and a half, four meters deep from to them cutters on most of the job. And it only gives you them three and a half, three point eight meters. It slumps a bit. And we think we think the walls in there, it's that kind of clay, we think it's bloody Working with land in water and the Canal and River Trust, 600 cubic metres of mud is removed each hour and is capable of digging to a depth of 8 metres. Currently though, they dig down to 4 metres. The cutter digs into the mud, it becomes liquefied and is pumped to a booster pump, which increases pressure to pump it through the floating pipes to the small dry dock. A pipe goes across the dry dock, then under Severn Road and out into the River Severn. The equipment is highly automated, using GPS to maintain its position and also to produce a map of where it has dredged and how much mud is removed.
late February 2024. The contract finished and the equipment is lifted out of the canal onto large lorries for its return journey back to Worcestershire. Has the dredging been a success? I believe so, but I am impressed with the way S.E. Davison Sun Limited operate, using the latest modern equipment, which was kept smart and clean, staff most helpful and friendly, and assuring me that much mud had been removed as requested. Time will tell, as each day mud continues to enter the dock basin. During May, we have the Tall Ships Festival. That will be the test that all is well. Thank you for watching my film, if you liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Meanwhile, I look forward to meeting you all again next week with a new film for you to enjoy. Bye!